Hi, hello, welcome back. In this video, I will share you the procedure to open the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro 2022 model and upgrade the SSD. Opening this laptop is simple but tricky. Let me show the easy way to open it and safely add new SSD to it. This is the same laptop which you would have seen in my previous unboxing video. I am truly satisfied with the overall performance of this configuration. However, the internal storage which came along with this model is 1TB SSD. It is not sufficient for me. So I decided to upgrade by adding another 1TB SSD for now. I had confusion in choosing between Samsung 980 Pro and Fire CUDA 530 series. But when I searched about the details of default SSD, that seems to be an OEM version of Samsung 980 Pro. So I decided to get Samsung 980 Pro itself for my secondary storage. Now let's open the back panel, but safety first. Before removing the back panel, we should disable the battery in BIOS. This will avoid any accidental charge circuits by dropping any screws or whatever. Select this option and press enter key to disable the battery. This is a one time switch. The battery will be enabled back automatically when the power adapter is connected. The battery is disabled and the laptop is switched off. Now let's unscrew all the 10 screws. Keep the screws safe and remember the sizes to fix it back. Four screws in the front are shorter, other six screws in the middle and rear are longer. Use pry tool like this to avoid scratches. Start to remove the panel from the corners. Lift the panel slowly with the pry tool till you hear a click sound. Here comes the tricky part. Insert the pry tool in between the grey color panel and black color exhaust cover. Slowly push the exhaust cover towards the bottom panel and here you go. One side of the panel has come out. Follow the same step for the exhaust cover on the other side. Now we can take out the back panel. Even though we have disabled the battery in BIOS, I always prefer to disconnect the battery physically. Let's have a look at the RAM slots, just in case if you want to upgrade it as well. Let's remove the SSD covers now. The slot at this side should have the primary SSD and Wi-Fi adapter. It has a thermal pad for the SSD. Remove any cover or dust on the thermal pad before installation.
The installation is now complete. Closing the back panel is very simple. Just set on the right place and gently apply pressure on the panel. You will hear multiple clicks while locking. The battery will be enabled automatically when you connect the power adapter. As you can see, the new SSD is detected and displayed in the BIOS. The Windows OS also detected the new SSD. Now we need to open disk management and initialize the disk with MPR or GPT. GPT is more recent so I will choose that. For SSDs the partition is not required as it has no effect on performance. But I am going to create a partition in my primary SSD to have backup in case of OS corruption. It's just my preference. Now I am going to format the new SSD with single partition. Perfect, now let's run a quick speed test on both the drives. This is the result for the primary SSD. And this is the result for newly added SSD. The results are almost identical with both the drives. I hope this video is useful. Thanks for watching.